Welcome to another edition of Swim Easy Speed. Today we're going to look at how slight changes in head position can have really big impacts on your freestyle, uh, particularly on your waterline. So, you know, the first one that I typically see is this, where the athlete's really, really looking forward uh, in the water. And that's going to do a couple things. It's going to really tighten up your shoulders. Uh, the other thing is, you can see here, it really drops that back end. And, you know, the reason that it's dropping that back end is, if we look at ourselves as kind of like, you know, a teeter-totter or like a seesaw in the pool, and we're trying to find kind of this position of balance, if you lift this head up like this, it's more than likely going to drop that back end, okay? Um, and it's going to be really tough to get it back up. It's part of the reason why it's good to have a kick, um, you know, when you're open water sighting, because the same thing happens. You're, you lift up the sight. You want to make that as quick as possible and get back down to try and get that back end up. If the feet are there kicking, um, that can help bring that back end up a little bit quicker um, where you can get into a more efficient kind of position on the water. Because right now you can see, you know, if we look from the head down to the feet, that's the angle of the body on the water. Um, so all of this becomes drag um, that you're pulling against. You've shortened your water line, so you're not going to be able to get as much distance per stroke. You know, distance per stroke in swimming is that benchmark of efficiency. You know, and as opposed to where we want to get more, and here's kind of a head-on view. Please forgive, you know, these stick figure drawings. Um, but that's head, shoulders, arms, and then here's the water line. So if you're longer and kind of more balanced on the water, then the majority of your body is going to be tucked up behind your head, shoulders, arms um, when you're swimming. So it's a lot like the bike where we're trying to get to that minimal amount of frontal drag possible, but still be able to generate a lot of power. Um, and, you know, you can see right here as you start to transition into watch what happens to the feet in the back and the hips, everything kind of comes up on the water, um, which is what we want. We want that longer water line um, to really make us more efficient. So here, this is where someone's looking straight down and this is kind of a misinterpretation or why I'm not crazy about the cue of kind of trying to swim downhill is, um, you get athletes that will really try to bury that head in the water, which again, tightens up the shoulders, puts you in a horrible position. You've got to make a funny movement to really get a breath because you've got to lift up that front end again. Um, and what we want to do is be more kind of where we're looking straight down at the bottom and then chin up just a little bit. So you're looking just slightly ahead of straight down on the bottom of the pool. This kind of relaxes the head, shoulders, neck, um, and allows us to get that really long water line on the water, um, which is going to be ultimately a lot more efficient. So as always, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please like, share, comment. Um, those help us immensely. Uh, to continue to grow the channel and to, to continue to get you uh, some free content. So uh, as always, though, I really appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you in the pool soon.